Hey, welcome all you beautiful people across the world. Welcome to Sing and Cook on Sanjeev Kapoor's Khazana. And I'm here with beautiful recipes just for you. You keep requesting, I keep showing, and that's the way we are binding together all across the world. I love that. And today is a quick recipe made out of crown flour, and I've made it healthy by adding some corn, some onions, and that's the twist I love to bring in. Quick and easy, just for you. Now to make this recipe, which is corn and besan ka chilla, as you all must be knowing, it's kind of a pancake made out of gram flour. Got some gram flour here, got some frozen corn. Now to this frozen corn, what I've done is I've drained the corn and I've refreshed it in cold water and I've coarsely ground it. Now what we'll do is add this corn to the gram flour and got an onion here. Chop this onion. Remove this irritating part of the onion. Yeah, this one goes out and you need to just chop it fine. So this one, onions finely chopped. Onions finely chopped here into the bowl of gram flour. All of this into the gram flour. Next is what? Next is chopping green chilies. So we can take two or three of them, chop it finely. I actually don't enjoy cooking if I don't have all these gadgets perfect in my house. I love to keep them neat and tidy. Yeah. So green chilies into this. Now some people, Add tomatoes, some don't add tomatoes. What I'll do is, I'll add one of the tomatoes because I like the colors, you know. And what I'll do here is, remove the pulp and only the skin. Into julians and then chop it fine. All the pulp out. You can use the pulp when you make soups or when you make any gravies, do not throw it away kitchen, almost anything and everything can be used. If you are a smart cook though, and you will become smart when you keep watching me on YouTube. Wow, all tomatoes cut fine, beautiful colors. Now what I'll quickly do is add some salt to taste, some turmeric powder into this. One fourth teaspoon red chili powder, half a teaspoon water to make a batter. Already I have a frying pan on fire here. This one is hot now. Let me whisk this up. Now the batter here needs to be same consistency as what you would make pancakes or I'll show you right now what is the consistency. Now the interesting part here is when we make chillas at home or basin puras as we call them, we don't add this corn stuff, you know, the American corn stuff, you generally don't add that. But that's the difference I have done here because I love to share unique recipes with you, you know. Little more of the water here. You keep adding little by little so that you don't make a thin batter. Now this is what I call is the right consistency. Mix it up properly. The batter has onions, cream chilies, tomatoes, and something which I want to add further to this is some freshly chopped coriander leaves. I've also got some ginger. Let me also add some ginger, which I missed out. Some ginger first cut into julians. Finely, finely would mean actually finely chop them. You wouldn't like large pieces of ginger coming into your mouth. So finely chopped ginger. Mix this up once again. Wow, look at the colors, beautiful. What we need to do is, put a pan on fire, hot, pour some oil, one teaspoon of oil, just rotate it all around the pan, even if you're using a non-stick pan. And what you need to do is, take a spoonful of the batter, pour it up and spread it quickly. I think the batter is still a little bit thick. What I'll do is, I'll add some more water to this. 
and mix it up. See, that's the trick. You can make one of these chillas and you can always check. If it is thick, you'll probably not enjoy it. And all the things that you've added, the onions, the green chilies, tomatoes, they will also not get cooked properly. So if you want them to get cooked properly, get that little bit of burnt texture, you need to have a thin batter. So now I added some more water, becomes a nice consistency. It's a dropping consistency here now. What I'll do is quickly turn this around. Wow, look at this, nice. That's the kind of texture you get, pours all around, but needs to be a little more brown. And this again is very popular as a breakfast snacks. We all love eating this. I know my mother used to cook this in breakfast at times when she had too much work because this is quick and easy. If you don't want to add any of the chopped stuff, you can avoid adding that. Just mix in some gram flour, add some seasoning and make some pancakes of this. Quick and easy breakfast, you can always serve it with this sauce. Wow. Now this one is ready. What I'll do is kind of remove this trial one which we had cooked and add another fresh one because the batter is now nice and thin so it spreads kind of easily you need to make a thin pancake yes this one is nice and thin spreads across easily as you see here beautiful quick and easy this one what you'll do is as it gets cooked pour a little oil on the sides a little bit of oil on the sides and let this get cooked on high flame and this is how you make a good looking besan ka chilla with the goodness of corn, beautiful onions and tomatoes in it. And once it gets cooked, it is amazing to taste. I tell you, do it the way I'm doing here. Wow, look at it, look at it. And you get the pores here and that's telling you that, wow, you have a right consistency of the batter. You see these pores and that's what keeps telling you. That's the consistency you need to achieve while you're making this chillas. Nice and hot, I'll brown it on one side and then show you exactly what needs to be the texture. Now this one is cooked on top. How would you know that? That's when you see all the top thing. Now that's cooked. It's no more wetty or gooey. So you'll know that the top thing is cooked. Slowly slide in a spoon here. Wow, easy, easy to come out and see how beautiful it is. Nice and crisp. I love this chillas when they're done crisp, you know, and that's because I used to see it when my mother used to do it, you know. And she had a very tricky way of doing it. Let me also share that with you. Initial days, we never had email or anything. We would write letters on postcard. And what she would do is, she would make a batter of this and she would fold a postcard, which was roughly about the size of a card and then pour the batter and swirl it all across by the postcard. And I used to love watching that. But now, technology, you can't have an email folded and you know, done all across. I have a spoon here. This is beautiful, isn't it? Nicely brown. What we'll do is we'll serve this, fold it up, put it in a plate. Beautiful, isn't it? See that golden crust. And I've got some green chutney here. What you can do is take some green chutney, some red chili powder, you can sprinkle across. And wow, you got a beautiful chilla, which is made from corn and gram flour. Easy to make, amazing to eat. I tell you, you would love this. Follow me on YouTube for easy recipes. I am there to share all that that you keep writing to me and I keep sharing with you.